Well, join me today as I decorate my Recollections Planner from March 20th through the 26th with this beautiful printable kit from the Etsy shop Ellums. Stay tuned and see how this all comes together. All right, like normal, let's start out by looking at the spread that we planned out last week. I really like this. I'm not much of a person for green, but for some reason, I really like it right this time of year, I think. It's Friday afternoon, so I've, I've actually gotten everything done on my list already, um, except for a few things up here. And I've really enjoyed using the green ink. Uh, I normally just use black ink, and I've always preferred that in the past, but I don't know, this week I've really enjoyed the green, so I think I'm going to go with a colored ink this coming week too. So, today we are going to plan from March 20th to the 26th, and I have this Spring Tribal Weekly Kit. I don't think I've used a tribal kit in my Recollections Planner before. I think this is really pretty. It's from the shop Elam's, I believe is how she says that. She's on Etsy. There will be a link in my blog post. Um, I've never bought a kit from her. I've bought a lot of, um, like, what do you call them, uh, functional stickers from her. And, in fact, she did a custom color page for me on a couple of them, on one of them that I really am enjoying in my other planner. But I got to looking through her weekly kits, and they're really neat. I think it was $6, and you got the three pages plus a freebie page. A birthday freebie came. I don't know if that's a special deal right now or what. Excuse me, my voice is doing strange things today. So we have the date covers up here. We have lots of them. We have our, like, washi strips of different sizes, some little flags. <coughs> Ombre check boxes, full boxes, decorative boxes, lots of headers. Uh, half check boxes, some little icons here. Check flags half boxes, more like little things, decorative stuff. And then she has this sidebar. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the sidebar or maybe I'll use part of the sidebar. I'm thinking I'm going to do some sticker surgery so I can make it fit the way I want it to, but we'll see. So I am going to turn the camera off. I'm going to cut out everything I need for this area of my planner. When I get that done, I'll come back and we'll start putting stickers down. All right, so I have that all cut out, and I decided to just follow the order that the banners are on here, on the weekend banner, for my order for my colors. Usually I would mirror, like I'd be maybe the lime green and lime green and, and work in, but I'm going to do it this way this time because I think it's really pretty, and I think since the weekend banner's already done that way, it will look better. So let's see if I can get this on. Trying to line it up without putting my head under the camera. There we go. Now I need the to-dos on the top. And I only used five to-dos in this planner because this planner, this is my my main planner and the to-dos in here, this section up here at the top is just the top three to-dos for my YouTube and blog. And the rest of the planner then is for just life in general. So I am going to set these across, and I think I got that last one really crooked. Oh gosh. Okay, today is the crooked sticker day once again. Let's see if I get this straight. It's a little better, I think. Now I'm blue. But I thought that was really pretty, that combination, the way she's got it on that. And I picked this kit out a, not, about a week or so ago. And I've been really anxious to get to put it in my planner. I think it's really pretty. Now the purple one. And I 
love being able to color block this. I think it's going to be really pretty. Hopefully I've got that fairly straight. And then the blue, and I won't need these two. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. I'm going to put the Today headers across and get my half boxes and my little short... I cut the flags down to three checklist. And when I get that done and the section for down here cut out, I'll be back. All right, I think I've got everything cut that I need to put in here. So I'm going to start with my washi strips. And I decided to do two strips. I'm going to put this wide purple one all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to line it up with this side. Do that on the other side so I can get them both. Pretty much the same. Is that straight even? That is nowhere near straight. Let's see if I can get that. Can I get it up? Okay. Line it up with the bottom of the page. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing. God, we're still under camera. Oh, so is my pile of scraps of sticker paper here. What a mess. This one over here. And then I cut this. I'm going to put this one. Oh, that's really crooked. Oh my. Come on, come up. At least it's behaving itself today. At least my sticker paper is being, not being too naughty. little bubble but not too bad. Still going to be a little green showing on the sides but that cannot be helped on this planner. Then this one I'm going to line up with this dark green and kind of there. I think that'll be good. I like that a little better than just one. I don't know. It's a little busy but I kind of like it. I put this the same direction. There. Now let's put in our check, our ombre check boxes, our little ombre circle check boxes. I'm actually going to move everything off and turn this this way so that I can see what I'm doing. And I don't have to fight the coil quite as much. Hopefully a little straighter than that. I find it interesting that this does not go quite all the way to that sh to that spot. This must not be quite where it goes. Can I, can I get that up? Can I, come on. There, that's a little better. And we will choose one of the blue ones. Yeah, put this one in. And while I'm here, I will put the dinner sticker in. Looks like I left a tiny sliver of white on that sticker, but not much I can do about it. That fits almost perfectly. I'm a little crooked somehow. All right, now the turquoisey, tealy turquoisey color. Green. Am 
might help if I go the right direction. I don't know what I was doing there for a second. Whoops, not that crooked, come on. I think I forgot to print this borderless. It's probably why I'm coming out a little short. I'm not sure. Then we can turn this over and do the other side. Then I can open it up and we can do what few plans I know for the week and then I'll get the sidebar done. All right, get this, now the purple. I see, I need to trim it. I'm down further here. I don't know why. This one, this way. Oh gosh, that's crooked. No, 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 no. That one's crooked too, but I don't think I can fix that. That's better. Purple. Green. And a green. Oops. You need to do this first. What am I doing? That's crooked too, but I'm not going to be able to straighten that out at this point. It's been down too long. The sticker paper does not like to come up even when you first put it down. This one. I think I'm going to do it the opposite way of that. Come on, line up. Line up sticker. Sometimes we need to speak firmly with our stickers, I guess. Last one. other way. Come on. Uh, it's going to stay that way. That is not coming up. Let's see if I can compensate with this one. That's a little straighter. Dinner sticker down. All right, now. Open this back out, put down some more stickers. I know that Monday I need this one in. Monday, my son has his class. He only has class one day this week. And I'm not sure what time. <laughs> I know he starts at noon, but I don't know what time he's getting out. And I decided to use this kind of a blue color in the Sharpie pen. And I know I need to go to the post office. And I need to, I'm going to have to go to the fabric store. 
and I need to go to Freddy's. Not sure what else. I know that on Thursday I need to make a menu and a list. And Friday I'll need to go to the post office and Freddy's and possibly other places. I know that Saturday, am I going to write with this one on Saturday? Change, yeah. Not sure if it's coming up on the video, but I need to change my wax melt. And on Sunday, I need to do a menu and a list. And other than that, I'm not sure. I don't have to take him to class on Wednesday, so I may or may not go to town. I don't know. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to cut out everything that I might use for the sidebar. And then I'll be back and we'll see how the sidebar goes together. All right, so the kit comes with this neat one-piece sidebar. But I really want to use the decorative box over there. And I really only need three of these. I don't need the third one, and I don't probably need that long a list. So we're going to do some sticker surgery. You're going to cut this like this, and we're going to cut this right here, and right here. Okay, so I'm going to start with this down here. That way I took out that one piece, the one habit tracker, because I only need, I like three of them. I don't really want four this week. I don't need four this week. Okay, I need to cut that a little straighter. Make sure it's cut straight. There we go. And I like to line my sidebar up with this line. I left a little white on it, so hopefully that's still straight-ish. Now. I want this one at the top, but it can overlap this sticker. I'm going to take this down to here, this way I have everything on the sidebar I want. Yeah, I like this. This is going to be kind of cool. All right, where was I going to take that to? This, this one. I think I'm going a little bit crooked, but there's not much I can do about that with this biggest sticker. There. Okay, I like that. That works really, that functions really well for me. It's not quite straight, but it's okay. So vitamin. Breakfast. Usually I do those in the opposite order, but that's okay and walk, and hopefully the weather will be better for walking this week. Now I've got to decide, do I want to put, I think I will go ahead and cut out the date covers, so I'm going to get those all cut out to go up here, and when I get those cut out, I'll come back and we'll put them down. Alright, so I cut these out and I matched, where did I put them, the days actually to the day of the week colors. So let's see if I can make this work. I wonder if I want to put this in. I'm going to put that in first. The 
dates were only one, but they had she had the whole pattern for the days of the week. There were a bunch of colors for those, so. Let's see if I can get this to peel in a reasonably short period of time. One. Oh, that actually looks really cool that way. A little higher. Hopefully I'm getting these straight. This is right here. Oh, that's crooked. That might show a little. Wednesday is an awfully long word. Tuesday down. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to get the rest of the days of the week done, and then I'll be back, and you can see how this looks all put together. All right, so the days of the week are done. I'm really glad I did that. I debated whether I was going to bother with this or just leave the, the days the way they were printed, and I'm really glad I did. I like that, even though I didn't get a few of them straight. So be sure and check the blog post for a link to Ellum's shop. The Ellum, yeah, Ellum's. And also for some photos, close-up photos of the uh, spread as it is today. Come back next week to see what I use for that week and also to see how this looks when it's mostly filled out. Till then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.